At a time when terrorism seems to be the greatest challenge facing humanity, nations worldwide are more concerned about the impacts of climate change. But what exactly is climate change? How many of us are aware of climate change? What are the causes of climate change? Who is to be blamed for climate change? And most interestingly, is it climate change or global warming? One of the issues today that unite the entire human race in concern is climate change, commonly known as global warming. Over the last century, industrial development and technological advancement has completely changed the way humans live. But unfortunately, this has come about at a great expense. All this while, our planet has quietly endured terrible suffering. The increasing needs of a burgeoning global population has taken a heavy toll on the environment and the climatic balance has rapidly deteriorated in the last few decades. But thankfully, we have realized that the situation is critical and we have to act now to save Earth, our only home. While most of us may be left baffled by the aforesaid question, British Council in India as a part of its Low Carbon Futures initiative, recently conducted a survey to explore the outlook of young people in India towards the issue of climate change and measure the strength of concern, attitude and behavior towards its impact. In India, global warming has a universal reference over climate change. It is commonly perceived as the rise in temperature of the earth due to increase in pollution and deforestation. But global warming is one of the impacts of climate change as it is the latter that poses greater threat to our planet today. What is more alarming is that exactly how many of us are actually aware of climate change and what are we doing to combat the same. Even more surprising is the fact that 83% of India is aware of this impending challenge of which only 12% are doing something to fight the menace. Though we are aware of climate change but what is the degree of concern? In this context, Kolkata, Delhi and Bangalore top the list of metros that are actually concerned about the issue. What do you think are our chances of combating this menace? For most of us, it might appear an indomitable task, but not an impossible one. While for a few, it might be impossible. With a constant conflict within ourselves, we can grade our chances of combating this menace into achievability, urgency and despair. While pollution has been commonly perceived to be the greatest contributor to climate change, deforestation and industrialization also play an important role towards the issue. But who do you think is responsible for bringing about a change? Who is responsible to take action against this issue? It is commonly believed that developed nations are responsible for the present situation. Most of us are of the opinion that the government is responsible for taking action, while majority believes that they should shoulder the responsibility. What seems to be the problem is the fact that people are not highly motivated to act against climate change. However, many of us feel that the impact of climate change is not far away and countering the problem is possible. We are also aware of the various steps that can be taken to reduce the effects of climate change. The only thing that is vital to the entire process is the will to act. Most of us feel that climate change can be fought against by altering the very cause. We need to understand the fact that to bring the change, you need to be the change. And in order to bring about this change, we need to take collective responsibility. All you need to do is switch to cleaner fuels like CNG, turn off computers when not in use, conserve energy, use CFLs, opt for metro wherever possible, recycle paper, print on both sides, and harvest rainwater. But the question is, are we change ready?